Hello friends, this video on mechanical properties of fluids part 31 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from part 1 to part 30 before going ahead with part 31. Now we will start another topic or a fresh topic on liquid surfaces. Till now we discussed all about fluids. First we discussed about fluids at rest. Then we discussed about fluids in motion. Now we will discuss exclusively about liquid surfaces because there are many things which we have to learn regarding the surfaces of the liquids. Liquids have three surfaces. Why? Because liquids do not, as we all know, Liquids do not have a fixed shape. They only have a definite volume. So whenever a liquid is poured into any container, it takes the shape of the container into which they are poured and acquire a free surface. What do you mean by a free surface? Let us suppose you pour water in a glass. The water did not have any shape of its own. As soon as you poured it into the glass, it took the shape of the glass with a free surface at the top. The top surface of water inside the glass is a free surface because that water is not in contact with anything else other than the air. So that surface is called a free surface. Okay, so liquids always acquire a free surface and this free surface has several properties which we are going to study now under this topic. Free surfaces have some additional energy. So these free surfaces of the liquid will have some additional energy when compared to the inner surfaces of the liquids. I mean when you consider the liquid as a whole, for molecules which are present inside the liquid, when you compare the molecules which are present on the free surface, the free surface will have some extra energy. So these are the two points on the basis of which all the properties and phenomena have come up related to the liquid surfaces. Once we study this part of the lesson, you will be able to answer certain questions which you can think right now in your mind. You can think of questions like this. Have you ever observed that oil and water do not mix? Even if you try to mix water and oil, you will see that they do not mix and oil is seen as droplets inside water. Why is it so? You will get to know the answer to these questions once we discuss all the properties of the liquid surfaces. Similarly, you would have observed that water sticks to glass but mercury does not. And because of this property, mercury is used as the fluid inside the thermometer. But what makes this happen? Similarly, water wets our body but when we use an umbrella, the water does not wet the umbrella. So what is the property that makes water stick to our body but not to the umbrella? So let us see what is surface energy. As I already mentioned that liquids whenever are left to themselves, they always acquire a free surface. And this free surface has some additional energy when compared to the molecules which are there present inside the liquid. So surface energy is the excess energy exhibited by the liquid molecules on the surface compared to those inside the liquid. So, the mo this, this means that the molecules of the liquid which are present on the surface has greater energy than the molecules which are present inside the liquid. So now, here in this slide, we will see that how is it that the molecules on the surface have some additional energy than the molecules which are inside the liquid. Liquid molecules at the surface have excess energy compared to those inside the liquid. Let us look at this. Suppose we have a vessel as shown here and this tumbler is filled with water. So this is when the water is poured into this tumbler, the water takes the shape of the tumbler and it acquires a free surface. So this is the free surface. Now this water consists of several molecules. Several water molecules are present which is constituting water. So what we'll do here, first we'll consider the case of a molecule which is present inside the liquid. 
Then they will consider the case of a molecule which is present on the surface of the liquid. So let us first consider a molecule. Here we have comparatively considered a bigger size so, it, so that it is easier to understand. Suppose this is a molecule which is present inside the liquid. So what happens with this molecule? There are several, several other neighboring molecules around this. So all the molecules will attract this molecule. So this molecule will be equally attracted in all the directions. So as a result, this attraction will bind all these liquid molecules together. I and mean, that is how all the molecules are bind together in the liquid because the neighboring molecules attract one another. So this attraction binds it together and also results in a negative potential energy of the molecule. So this molecule will have a negative potential energy as we know whenever there is an attraction between two molecules the potential energy would be negative right because it binds the molecule. So it will have a net negative potential energy. Now to separate this molecule a huge amount of energy is required to overcome the potential energy. Now suppose if I want this molecule to be moved from this liquid, so in that case I have to apply some external energy which should be greater than the potential energy which is binding this molecule, only then this molecule can be moved out. Therefore we say that for a molecule which is present inside the liquid, in order to separate, evaporate or vaporize this, huge amount of energy is required or in terms of heat of evaporation, we say that the heat of evaporation is very large for such molecules. Now let us consider a molecule which is present on the free surface of the liquid. If you look at this molecule, half of the molecule is present inside the liquid and the remaining half is exposed to the atmosphere. So what happens in this case? In this case, for the lower half of this molecule, it is attracted by other molecules as it happened in the previous case. So the lower half it is attracted by other molecules but the upper half or the upper portion of the molecule is free. That means in this case there is a negative potential energy only because of its lower half. So here also this has a negative potential energy, this also has a negative potential energy but the potential energy magnitude of the potential energy is almost half as that in this case. So if you compare case 2 and case 3, you will see that in case 3, the magnitude of potential energy is half of that in case 2. Now since the potential energy is negative, so that would mean that in this case, in the third scenario, this particular molecule has some excess energy, right? This has some excess energy when compared to this molecule. It is because of this additional energy which the molecules at the surface have, we have this phenomenon of surface energy, surface tension and so on, which we are going to discuss in detail hereafter. So as of now, the basic concept is molecules, liquid molecules which are at the surface have additional energy than the molecules which are present inside. Liquids always tend to have the least surface area when left to itself. Any liquid, any liquid particle, when it is left to itself, it will always tend to have the least surface area. Why? Because more surface area would require more energy. So nobody would like to spend more energy. So the liquid will also not like to spend more energy and acquire more surface area. So as a natural tendency, it will always try to acquire the least possible area. There are certain points about surface energy which we should keep in mind before we go ahead with the study of surface tension. Whenever there are two fluids in contact, the surface energy depends on the materials of the surfaces in contact. Whenever any two objects, be it solid liquid, liquid air or solid air, whenever any two surfaces are in contact, the surface energy depends on the materials of the surfaces in contact. Surface energy decreases if the molecules of the two fluids attract. Whenever there is attraction between the two fluids between the molecules of the two fluids rather, 
in that case the surface energy decreases as i already told when there is attraction the total energy has to be less because when the total energy is less the system gains more stability right so when two fluids attract and they stick to each other that means the total surface energy is decreasing and the system tends towards stability similarly surface energy increases if the molecules of two fluids repel so you just remember these two points as this will help you to understand further concepts surface energy decreases when two fluids attract surface energy increases when two molecules repel thank you please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thank you once again